Cameron's welcomes to your five minutes with Sea Trade Cruise. Celebrity Edge became the first ocean going cruise ship to sail from the US in 15 months, following embarkation on June 26th at Port Everglades. The vessel, carrying at least 95% fully vaccinated crew and passengers, will visit Mexico and the Bahamas. It is the third celebrity ship to resume service. Royal Caribbean Group Chairman and CEO Richard Fain described the sailing as momentous. Carnival Corporation, meanwhile, has filed a prospectus to offer up to 500 million USD in shares via its agent, Bank of America Securities, through an at-the-market equity offering program. Carnival intends to use the net proceeds to purchase ordinary shares of Carnival PLC on at least an equivalent basis and may use the remaining net proceeds, if any, for general corporate purposes. The company plans to sell only when Carnival PLC shares are trading in the UK at a discount to Carnival Corporation shares. The programme is expected to run no later than January 31st, 2022. And a US judge has given the CDC through to July 22nd to respond to Florida's challenge of the cruise shutdown. This is related to the underlying lawsuit. The July 2nd deadline for responding to the preliminary injunction still stands. The CDC had requested an approximately 30-day extension to address the original complaint to review the order, among other options, but Florida did not agree, proposing the two-week extension instead. The US was served with Florida's challenge to the conditional sailing order on April 13th. Transport Canada is expected to announce a 2022 cruise restart soon, according to Andrew Dixon, chair of the Association of Canadian Port Authorities Cruise Committee. He hopes the government will act on the committee's request to lift the cruise ban. The time is right, Dixon told Sea Trade, adding, I expect a very definitive and positive announcement imminently before the end of July. Even though there is typically no cruising in Canadian waters until April, Dixon said it would be very helpful to announce a 2022 reopening now instead of waiting until the ban expires at the end of February next year. It has also been requested that, as of October 31st, the current capacity cap, which permits operations by cruise vessels that carry 100 or fewer passengers and crew, be revised to 500. This would make it possible for very small ships to resume sailing in Canadian waters before the end of the year. By contrast, international cruises from Spain have begun, with MSC Grandiosa the first to make an international sailing from Barcelona port last weekend. Some 2,000 mostly Italian and French passengers were on board, plus 500 Spaniards who embarked there. 70% of transit passengers took bubble excursions within the city. The seven-night sailing calls at the Italian ports of Genoa, Civitavecchia, Naples and and Palermo, plus Valletta, Malta. The next port calls will apparently be from Tui Cruises Mind Shift 2, Costa Cruises Costa Smeralda, and Aida Cruises Aida Perla. Norwegian Cruise Line is expected to begin operations at the port of Barcelona in August, with the first operation by a US-based brand being Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas on August 15. Staying with MSC Cruises, Chantier de l'Atlantique cut steel this week for the newly named MSC Eurybia, the line's second LNG-powered ship. It is set to enter service in 2023, making it the 22nd vessel in MSC Cruises' fleet. Executive Chairman Pia Francesco Vargo said the line's vision is for MSC Eurybia to master the deployment of sustainable technologies. The line's three planned LNG-powered vessels represent an investment exceeding 3 billion euros. The first of these, MSC World Europa, is under construction and set to enter service in October next year. Construction of MSC Cruises' third LNG vessel is set to start in early 2023. And Crystal's first expedition ship, Crystal Endeavour, was named in festivities at MV Werften in Stralsund on June 26th. The 164-metre ship, built to Polar Class 6 standard, will carry just 200 passengers. Al disclosed in a series of bombshells at the naming festivities that starting in 2023, MV Verfden will build a series of Endeavour class ships customised for luxury hotel brands. These will be managed by Crystal, he said. Crystal Endeavour's maiden voyage is set for July 17th from Reykjavik.
Last but not least, Celebrity Cruises Celebrity Silhouette has arrived at its home port of Southampton in advance of UK coastal cruises for Brits starting July 3rd. It has undergone a refit, the fourth Celebrity Cruises ship to undergo modernisation as part of fleet-wide upgrades, costing the line $500 million in total. That's all, thank you for watching.